Hey, hey, check it out. Right behind me is the all new 2022 GMC Sierra. It's the AT4 trim. And not only can you see a different face in here, but we got a whole lot of goodies. Everybody's been waiting for it. There's something inside that I didn't notice until I got in here, and I can't wait till I share it with you. So here's your GMC. You get the new face of the Sierra. One thing that I've noticed in particular, you know, it seems like every generation, the grill just gets a little bit more prominent. It shows off the width more, a little bit more powerful, but also check out these daytime running lamps. They're not so C-shaped. You get this kind of scoops down into this body line here of the bumper. So it kind of works out really, really well. And obviously it's an AT4, which means you got your red tow hooks, means off-road ready vehicle. Now over here, we got the AT4 specific 20 inch aluminum rims. This one here, it's been ordered with the three liter Duramax. And that, can you tell? Still a relatively quiet motor for the engine. But what's everybody been talking about? It's all the changes to the inside. So now that everything we've wanted to see is all on the inside. And if you've seen my videos before with the Silverado, you know, we've seen very different trims. So attention to detail has been paid just on the door handle alone. I love this AT4 where they get this Kalahari stitching that's kind of integrated right in through here. The AT4 badging right on the side. So every door panel has its own badge, which turns out really cool. You can see this two-tone interior kind of comes in. You get some badging, you get some AT4. It's been stitched into the headrest. A little bit more of this contrast stitching kind of comes in through here. I really like it. But again, what's everybody going crazy about these days? Screens, screens, screens. So right in here, you get your 12 inch digital display. You got your speedo on your left, your tack gauge on your right. All these things can be changed with your wheel uh, for your driver information center. So you can see different aspects over in through here. This is a diesel. So you can see right in through here, you got your death fluid levels right inside. And then now the other aspect about it, you can see this console is completely different from what we've seen in the Silverado. One, you get this glass kind of moves in through here. It's still a 13 inch display, just so it looks a little bit bigger because over on this side, they've integrated more glass and they put the panel uh, it, or your, your, your volume and your home button included right into the glass. So it just looks bigger for all those people craving screens. And then your HVAC controls have been moved up a little bit. You can see your toggle switches are below these controls here. In a Silverado, they were all right in this area. So again, just because you know a lot of people say they're the same but they're not you still get your console shifter which is right in through here you can see this they've added the trailer brake control kind of moved it into this area this little pocket right here is your cell phone charging because it works out well it's funny over the years we used to put it here in the first generation then we put it here in the second generation now we put it here in the third generation good chance people aren't going to stuff junk in that area there move the start button right into this area of the console as opposed to tucking it in over here, which we've seen on the Silverado. And another screen that we talked about up here is your rear streaming mirror. So this looks straight out the back window here. If I give this little flip of a switch, I can see myself. And then there's my view of what's going on outside the truck or give it a flip of the switch, no obstructions, looking straight outside. There you have it, thanks for watching. That's just a quick little review on the 2022 GMC Sierra in the AT4. Can't wait for many more of these to come.